let's start our tutorial in this tutorial i am going to show you how you can remove some errors like packages or some other errors from your latex template for example this is uh, uh, my template which my instructor has given me uh, to make a report or you can download from the internet many templates like IEEE or some others templates so uh, let's run uh, this program this is uh, the whole template of section some subsection but in this program there is a lot of mistakes uh, that we have to uh, correct and uh, there are many problems uh, or errors in the in these templates and what are the errors we are going to correct them first of all you have to open the code mm, for example this is our code so now what i am going to do is running uh, while i had run this program see there we have two errors these errors are because of the packages like uh, we use uh, set space package float package graphics package etc so we have to download these packages from the internet like set space or float or some other packages set space package latex so go to the first link package stan so I am going to download this package and yeah, here it is download after downloading this I am going to download the package of float uh, first I have to extract this file of set space okay now minimize it now I have to float package latex okay then go to the first link mm. oh sorry this was the wrong link go back to the click on the second package float ctan now download this float package after downloading uh, it may take some time after downloading this float package extract this file okay then you have to open this code basically this uh, it also have graphics uh, package but uh, uh, it was uh, somehow built in uh, package so it doesn't matter so let's go back to the downloaded files we are going to install those packages uh, I'm going to downloads uh, basically this is the latex file uh, where I saved my PE report template which I showed you this was the template uh, that I am going to edit so we are going to install the packages and how we are going to install these packages we are going to copy these two files of latex like open the float uh, see this is the float.tax so copy this file into that folder which has the latex template okay this is the reason i had made a separate folder for my project so that i can uh, paste some pictures or the packages uh, now set space copy also the both set space files to that folder of latex where i had placed my project file so paste it okay now go back to the latex file uh, uh, here where it is and here it is so now I had to run this program quick build 
after quick build it may take some time and it is running mm, some time and see there is no errors these are two just warnings so skip that and view as pdf so look our template has run and uh, now we can edit this file by our own so minimize it go back to the introduction uh, which you want to write in the introduction page you want to edit some pictures in this uh, report or you want to edit some sections or subsection this is the whole report you can edit these are the places where you can edit your reports so now edit uh, some pictures in that report i am going to use sniping tool to make a screenshot of that circuit uh, after that i can use that circuit in my lab report uh, sniping tool and then a new um, sorry sorry minimize not uh, opening new so now you had to cut this part and now I have to save this part uh, save as into my latex folder that same folder where I had placed my file of latex template the all those uh, files that contains in the report we are going to use in that folder now save save the project save this file as the name project 123 or whatever the name you want okay now you have to call this including graphics dot this is the uh, statement that is used to uh, attach the pictures in your lab report so after including graphics centering means uh, it will center your picture include graphics and in the bracket you have to write that pictures name that you had screenshotted and save in the latex folder uh, these are the channel 1 and channel 2 and this is the circuit of project 123 so now this is it if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section